Don't worry, Corel. We'll make sure this gets back to you. Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so it looks like the church is behind this. You should call the dog immediately. Stop moving! A warrior does not hesitate, Peter Quill. Okay, let's be careful. He says after you. Voice is down. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. How do we get across? Peter's the one with the visor. Unless he broke it. I didn't break it. That'll 
Doing? Well played, Peter Quill. I am Groot. How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep trying. Perhaps we should have interrogated the robot priest. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the rodent? No! Come on! Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. It's weird, right? How the world's mind seems to have gone completely dark. Very weird. Perhaps it is rebooting. Of all the words you could have used there, Drax, that one actually wasn't too bad. Thank you. It was either that or reloading. Dog report item. We have encountered a formidable new enemy, but still no sign of the ghosts. To think, all of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? This panicked scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks! Guys! Pretty sure it was already cracked. Probably from that giant robot priest mutiny thing. Anyway, can't we just celebrate that we're back on track? I think? Yay. Hey, Groot, any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am Groot. Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Man, what I would give to get into some of these servers. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not seem like you. Locked. I wonder, though. Nikki really didn't want her mom to know about this pass key she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the next. we're in! You're kidding! Well, yes! Guys, we're in! Get to the juicy stuff already. Channeling your Nova Force. A, a comprehensive guide to meditation and managing your mental health. Actually, I wouldn't mind a copy of that. Pass. Let me get this straight. She became a teapot? That's what my source said. <laughs> Amazing. I hate you all. I keep expecting the world mind to pop out on us. Well, that don't sound good. The audio file must be corrupted. The audio file and everything else in the galaxy. Attention away team. Please ensure your helmet cams are in full operation ahead of this afternoon's away mission into the quarantine zone. Thank you. Just like Corel, everything by the book. Yeah. It's a list of bucket heads. Uh, we already know your girlfriend works here, Quill. So? It might have useful info or something. Agent of Thanos? Gamora, care to explain? Not really. Except that it wasn't me. Check it out. Nikki's got a file. Boring. I have heard of this one. He was a good man. Except good means scut when you're dead. Hey, Wall. Then who is running Novacor? That's a good question. She crashed into a Leviathan on purpose and is still a better pilot than Quill. Hey! What? You know it's true. Twenty units mine's the biggest. <laughs> they can't be that scary if they share a record. <laughs> I've heard of this guy. He's part of a private army called the Lethal Legion. <laughs> More like the Loser Legion. 
What is it with you, Humies, and your stupid names? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Star Lord is not in the same league as Dark Hawk, okay? One's the name of the greatest band of all time, and the other's a bird. So, Drax's criminal record is pretty big. That is what your mother said. <laughs> it's great, because his mother's dead. I thought there'd be more here. Barely scratches the surface. I am Groot. You? <laughs> A gold dome? Over my dead body, buddy. You know, for a non-spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Unfortunately. Hey, isn't that the guy we saw when we tried to pay our fine? Yeah, that's him. Look, it's Trax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. Yet. Isn't this your friend from the bar? Yep. Grand Unifier Raker. Wonder what he was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. If you're charged, it means you've been caught. You realize that, right? Your point? Wow. When Kree cops go bad, they really go bad. Actually, an accuser is the equivalent of a judge, jury, and executioner. Wow, your record's a lot bigger than I expected. How big were you expecting? Minuscule. Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill, C-53 is the trailer park of the galaxy. Fun fact, that bounty on you put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I'm just glad I talked you out of collecting it. <laughs> it was as you did. I am unfamiliar with this Kree. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. All right, let's take a look. Wow, super riveting, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. Please do not. I was wondering how they knew about us. Quill must have tripped the sensors on the way out. Isn't that the mining rig from the quarantine zone? Oh, great. Looks like your girlfriend was collecting evidence against us even after the two of you struck a deal. I still do not understand how the Churchman's ship exploded. The Nova Corps is known for their security protocols. It's called stupidity, Drax. Something the bucket has got a lot of. Ten units, Peter's file is the smallest. Oh! Gotta be something in here. Hey, isn't that the mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone? Yeah. When's the footage from? Signal's stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. It's too much interference. Centurion Corral! Found something. After we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. 
Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. I am Groot. No, you're a Lotus Scut. That thing's got nothing to do with us. That gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. Guardians of the galaxy. You misread our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices must be I had the check. Groot, write the stars. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The matriarch wishes to share it with you. Sathian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on! Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? <sighs> can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. Alright. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna... Walk with me! Come on, Quill, just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. So, the Matriarch asked for us by name? You, specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter's constantly surprising us, too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say... Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing people? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe They them. have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill, his drone. It's her ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Reductive concepts like good and bad led us into the Galactic War. 
And what was gained? Nothing. While so much was lost. The Matriarch's promise will change all that. United in the light of belief, all suffering, all grief will end. Because those taken by the war will return. This promise will raise the dead. Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the Matriarch, the divine vessel. I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him. I intended to kill you. Wow, oh, oh, okay, that... Uh, that is a cool trick. Will you explain how you did it? Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. But I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even Sacrosanct herself. All powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. What now? What? What is it? It's just, um. You, uh, you, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh, control energy? Faith energy? Right. Uh, well, it just seems like all this, uh, faith energy is, is, uh... I, I think what Gamora's point is, is, um, you say you have all of this energy. Faith energy. Right, but... When we first saw you, weren't you stranded on Hallis Hope because your shuttle ran out of juice? Yes, I was, but... So why don't you just believe that your ship had more gas? It doesn't work that way. Faith energy is a byproduct of belief. Focused belief. <clears throat> okay, sure. I saw this proven. Focused belief in him is what enabled us to survive. So, you were saying... Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please, continue your... Uh, you were saying something about him? It seems super important. Right, right. Uh, your father. Uncle. Son? My son died of disease. The him I was referring to was someone else. The first divine vessel of this church, before it was even a church. An absurd faith healer, bathed in golden light and wielding unfathomable power. He saw my loss, our collective loss, knew its cause, but refused to reverse it. Because he, personally, never felt what we feel. That is why I founded this church. To heal. To give hope to those who have lost everything. <clears throat> Wait, there were more of you. The little one is missing. Perhaps he died like your son. <laughs> What? <laughs> right? Yes. Good point, Groot. He is totally into his spiritual mission. But I think I figured out all of this. Those were some pretty sweet holograms. <laughs> I think even the world might be jealous. I mean, they must have cost you an arm and a... Well, another arm. <laughs> right? And this? 
it's a pretty sweet trick to you, but everybody's got anti-grav these days. Oh, and let me guess. You got your own personal shield generator tucked under that Teratogu, don't you? <laughs> a little makeup, some color coordination. Oh, loving the gold laser light show, by the way. And got a pretty sweet little scam. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. Well, good for you. Hey, I get it, man. You gotta sell the brand before you stage the miracle. Oh, man, this one time on Rigel 3... You I... think you're all very clever. You hope to delay me because you're afraid. But there is nothing to fear. Why are you... Get back here where I can see you. Yeah, yeah. It's time to meet the Matriarch. Tell me you have an escape plan. We're gonna summon the Milano. My new buddy will show us the way. We're being very cryptic, Rodan. Yeah, well, I get twitchy when I'm surrounded by giant murder bots. They just want us to meet their new mommy. Speaking of which, who else thinks Quill's ex-girlfriend traded in her cop badge for cult ropes? Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, you may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody the just- The girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more than just me. Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting for us to bring them back. All we need is faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens until I show them. Oh, 
time is it? Kill them, Peter! Make them pay for what they did to us! Push them back, Peter! You can do it! You can you finally so save me! I've missed you so much, Paul! <laughs> oh, Peter! Oh, Peter, my boy! Mom! What... what's going on? How... how is this possible? You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I... I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up, and into the great leader I knew you would become. <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Did I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me, and your friends, too. My friends. Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <gasps> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart. I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, let go of me. Stop. Stop hugging me! Peter! Peter! What are you- I don't understand. I love you, Peter. Now, Peter. While it's distracted, we can reach Nikki. She needs our help! Dad! Hmm? Come on, get up! We don't have much time. We need to get everything ready. Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up! Nikki, what? This better not be like some weird episode of the Twilight Zone. You guys aren't in there, are you? What the hell? I don't remember taking this off or hanging it up. I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon, and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Dad? Uh, honestly, kinda. Are you kidding? Dad! You promised you'd help me surprise Mom for her birthday. I, I did? Yes! You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. Right. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Did you make it? Oh, no. I ordered it from the bakery planner. There's a bake? No! I baked it. Okay, that just leaves. Hmm. Uh, Nick? Is it supposed to be fuzzy? Ugh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Wow. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Wait, did you make this? Yeah. It's hollow and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moves. It's beautiful. Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Hey, you still have Chewy? Yeah, he's captain of the Milano now. Really? Well, congrats, I guess. Hey. 
Happy birthday, love, Nikki and Peter. Why do I remember this? Did you find it? Yeah. Okay, put it with the others. Great, a gift. Put it on the table. One birthday present. What did you get her? We got it. On nowhere. Remember the artist alley we went to in the painting she really liked? Of Cree Law? Oh, right. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. How does it look? Amazing. Your mom's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, I, uh... Nikki, why is the door locked? It's mad. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Surprise! Peter? What are you two... No! <laughs> Don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw. I don't know how, but the three of us are connected now. That thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. She has to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her. Please! Child! Get the matriarch out of here! Now! By rejecting the promise, you have proven yourselves unworthy. And you must be destroyed. No! Ah, this is wrong! What did you do to us? Mark in mind games? I'm gonna feel you later. Focus on Raker. I 
final blow! Gotta get on flat face! He's mending his friends! And he should be the first to die! The blood can't empty up his bodies! He must eliminate the medicinal conduit! Oh, where? What are these lights obscuring my vision? No. No, I am not letting that bastard take her again. Again? Forget the preacher for now. The choir's pissed! The sorcerer amplifies with pleasure! We don't want to be in the way of that! Chop him up! About time! Oh, perhaps we should talk to them! What makes you think they can speak? No fear! He's boosting everyone but us! How do we get out? Raker's drone gave me a peek at the ship's layout. I'll get us to the comm center, where we can call the Milano to come bail us out of this scuttle flark. Okay, but do you see a way up? Careful! I see a way up. How thoughtful. I'm really missing my ship right now! There is plenty of ship all around us! Show up some muscle! Perish! We gotta get further into the ship! It's too open down here! We should follow the assassin! 